Hi. Uh, it's uh, Friday the 16th of October already. And it's the new moon, so we don't expect a moon out really. So, um, hi. Uh, good to see you. In here, I think it's just dogs. I don't think it's coyotes yet. But sometimes we get coyotes um, pretty soon. So before I get started, I'm just going to um, ask for some divine guidance and just spend a moment uh, just kind of centering. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be doing is uh, as much as I can, people that come on, um, I I will um, uh, pull a card for you, and I have a new deck I'm really excited about. It's called Whispers of Love, and it's very um, hi, hi Holly, hi Kelly, so good to see you guys. So I have this new deck, Whispers of Love, and so I'm going to be pulling uh, cards at the beginning from that, um, kind of as we get things started, and then we'll talk a little bit um, about um, manifestation, and we can kind of like uh, go back and forth a little bit on that, asking questions, and then um, and then hopefully. Uh, if you guys have questions, I can work on that as well. So, uh, Roberta, let's start with you. So, we'll look at these cards. Whispers of Love. And I really like it because they're not all just mushy. Uh, they have beautiful pictures. And they really kind of just talk uh, really great about um, relationships. Oh, thank you. I took a shower, so at least I'd be clean, right? <laughs> oh, hello, treasure. So good to see you. Okay, Roberta, let's uh, put a little bit of Reiki energy in the deck. It's going to be guided. Okay, so the card that we got is Embrace your emotions. So, if you can see, it's it's a unicorn that can fly. It has a girl on it riding. You can kind of see the Pleiades down there. Beautiful horse. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So, uh, knowing a little bit about your story, I know that you're having a lot of emotions right now. And it's, it's uh, recommending to embrace those emotions and to uh, let them be accepted in the way they're coming to you. So let me look in the book. It's uh, number 18, which is a 9, which is coming to the end of a cycle. Okay. Feelings and emotions are part of who you are and allow yourself to feel what is going on for you. Your feelings can alert you to the truth of a situation. Take positive steps to determine what you feel the way you do. So I think one of the things that's trying to say here is um, when we talk about the concept of intuition, uh, we talk about the feeling in the heart or in the uh, gut. It kind of depends on where you tend to feel things. Hi, Christina. Good to see you. So, you know, we'll have feelings in the heart. We'll have feelings in the gut. And sometimes those feelings are... There was this angel message uh, from that um, angel 
thing that we look at that um, the other day that said sometimes our intuition tells us things we don't want to hear and uh, the angels will help us to really listen to uh, those kind of things. Hi, Kay. Good to see you. So, um, so I think that um, in this card, you know, not only is it saying embrace embrace your emotions, but also to embrace your intuition. So the feeling that's in your heart is going to help to direct you. And um, we can ask the cards all day and not get the answer that we want. Um, but, um, and so we'll keep asking. But a lot of times if we can learn how to use our own intuition, we don't even have to um, ask the cards. Let me see what's on the underneath. Ooh, love who you are. You are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer and I know that that is true you are deserving of all the things life has to offer beautiful okay wow there's a, a lot of people coming on today um, let's uh let's pull a few more cards uh, one of the things that we want to talk about, so, so glad to have everybody here. One of the things that we want to talk about, um, I think Holly, you were next, um, is kind of the concepts of um, manifestation. And it was interesting for me because I, I don't think I'm very good at it yet, which is, is fine. But um, I was listening to Abraham Hicks uh, today because it's kind of like the ultimate trying to learn about manifestation. And um, I finally realized what they were saying is that when you go into the vortex, when you are at the, the vibration that really starts to manifest the things that you want into your life, the first thing you'll manifest is joy, happiness, a really good feeling and uh, you might just think ah whatever you know I had I manifested a really good feeling but that's actually the most important thing the first thing that you manifest so I was thinking then what we need to do is instead of saying well what I really want is for my boyfriend to call me or what I really want is for my kids to listen to me Instead, what I really want is to be happy and full of joy. So if we manifest that and that comes about, then these other things that are in our vortex will, will start to come as well because we are in that uh, vibration. So I think I finally started to realize, okay, so every time I start complaining about something in my head, start thinking, no, I, I just want to be, I just want to have joy. I just want to have joy and get myself back Okay, so let's take a look. Um, I think it was, yeah, Holly. Okay. Okay, rest and relaxation is essential. Okay, that's uh, beautiful. So she's laying there and rests. And, oh, it's interesting because there are dolphins in the sky. And, oh, and he has the, he has a trident. So she's, she's a mermaid dreaming. She's a, she's a mermaid dreaming of uh, Poseidon. Uh, we all have a fundamental need to take a break. So this card is telling you to to take a break so um, let me see if there's any more things that pop out at me so like I said this is a new deck I just got uh, whispers of love I'm really excited I want to use it for my relationship readings um, and uh, it has some really great spreads for our relationship readings so When you are at your best, 
when all aspects of your life are balanced. Love yourself and the people in your life enough to create an environment where everyone has the opportunity to take care of their needs. You are at your best and able to fully appreciate all that life offers when you are well rested. So um, this card is, is coming to you today to remind you to take that little rest this weekend or this time if you can. So, okay, so let's see. Um, what I should start doing is bring a pen out here, I think. Uh, let's go with uh, the next one is Kelly. So this new moon energy is very strong. I was watching um, some things today from different astrologers. So you might uh, find you might find that kind of interesting. Hi. Okay, um, your card is have faith, trust your faith in this situation. Okay, so if you're thinking of a certain situation, um, have faith, trust yourself, trust your instincts, uh, trust your gut um, as you're making this uh, decision. And uh, the, the card shows a, a beautiful valley and uh, this girl kind of flying she has butterfly wings and then she it's like she's butterfly walking so instead of a dog walking she's a butterfly walker so she has all her butterflies attached to cords and she's going flying around with them so uh, she totally has that leap of faith she's just leapt into the the unknown in her uh, faith and beauty and a lot of a lot of uh, beauty here Okay, so if you are looking at a decision right now, a situation that you're making a decision on, um, trust your faith in this situation. So maybe not someone else's. You know, someone else might be telling you what to do. And you need to remember to trust your own. When we honestly believe things will work out, our faith will confidently see us through. So it might be that you're worried that this won't work out, and so trust that it will. Um, the angels are with you, and divine support is something you can have complete faith in. Simple truths will give you the answers you are looking for. Love is an act of faith. Love is an act of faith. Cool. So, okay. So, uh, that's, that's for you. And then, uh, let's take a look at, uh, Treasure. Thanks for coming. Now, if you guys have a specific question, anybody, go ahead and ask it. Um, and I also have my tarot decks here. Um, if you would rather, you know, if you have a question, you feel be for the tarot deck as well. So, it's really kind of cool that the back of these cards is um, is a little uh, a little angel that's also part of a um, harp. You always think of like angels and harps. Okay. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. Okay, so treasure. Um, if you're thinking of a particular person, or especially like a person or in your life, and it may be that they need you to do a little more actions. Um, and this re this card reminds me. It's a some green. That looks like an eagle or a hawk uh, flying. Um, this card kind of reminds me of um, when it says, 
actions speak loudly, like all the five love languages, you know, and how one of the love languages is um, acts of service. And so it might be that that person needs um, extra acts of service in their life to help them feel loved or that you do can go either way with the energies uh, 49 sometimes saying you love someone isn't enough which is the love language is this, like you know uh, some people need to be touched to know their love some people need to spend time with you some people need to be told their love you know there's these different ways to help you feel more more loved it is uh, time to show someone how you feel put someone's needs before your own this card is asking you to do something to show your love presenting your love without words does not need to be complex doing the simplest of things can make the hugest difference like the dishes <laughs> um, you know, allow your actions and considerations to convey your feelings to your partner. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now. All right, so let me stick at the bottom here. All right, who would like to be next? Um, I think, I gotta learn how this, Christina, let's do Christina here. Okay. Okay, Christina, let's uh, put intention on um, the questions that you've been asking me about lately with your significant other. So, we'll, and card, and card for, uh, to guide you in your uh, relationship. Okay. Love makes the difference. So here's the card. I can take a picture of it later for you too if you want. Love um, helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So having more love. Like in this picture, um, you know, they're like together in a boat on a date. Um, there's kind of a girls playing the horn. There's some music. It's the 31 card, which is the four. Oh, you're welcome. So, um... Let me read this for you. Love is strong and can endure anything. If you trust love, everything else will fall into place. Um, when there are challenges, it is important to keep your heart open. Um, healthy boundaries are essential aspect of creating trust in a relationship. You should be able to give freely from your heart to your partner's heart. Uh, your partner in tune should be, in turn, should be able to share knowing you will treasure this mutual respect. So a lot of, of love has to do with this uh, mutual, uh, mutual uh, giving uh, back and forth to each other. And, um, you know, it's interesting because today I was hearing a reading, it was for someone else, but it really resonated with me and it had to do with communicating in a relationship. And so many times we think we can communicate a little, but I know I, I really struggle with telling someone the truth. And it's so funny, I can tell everyone else 
oh, I just really don't like blah, 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 but I can't tell that person <laughs> what I've been trying to tell everyone else. And that's the only person that needs to hear it. And um, they were saying, for example, if you start dating someone, this is not like long, but this is the beginning. If you start to date someone, one of the first things you can do is talk about, ask them, you know, what do you expect or want or look for in a relationship? And if they begin talking about, well, you know, I kind of want just like this, you know, casual to see each other once a week, whatever, and you're wanting to, you know, start a family, it's probably not the right person. <laughs> so, yeah, and you have the opposite. <laughs> yeah, so trust love in this case. Like maybe uh, trust that it's, it's there and uh, learn how to develop it. Maybe look at the five love languages and see what is the strongest for him. So, but I think, I think, you know, for me, it's like learning to say what needs to be said. And she, they're like, if it doesn't work out, I mean, the worst thing that happens is you guys break up and you move on. But at least then you're not still, oh, I wish I knew, I wish I knew, I wish I knew, but never find out. So anyway, that was the, the concept there. Okay, so, um, Tanya, welcome. All right, let's take a look. Uh, go ahead and uh, think of either a question or a relationship or something in your mind, and we'll uh, kind of focus on that. Okay. Ooh, the heart of the matter. I got this one the other day. It's so pretty. There is more going on than meets the eye. The heart of the matter. So, so this card was basically, I mean, there's this little child. I don't know if you can see. A little child sleeping. It's the 22 card, which is really a great energy. Good number. Um, see, take a moment to get the genuine issues in this situation. So the situation that you were thinking about, there's probably more to it than you're seeing. So, I know, take a moment to get to the genuine issues in the situation. The truth of what is going on lies at the very heart of the situation. Um, be honest and willing to do whatever is necessary to take care of this. Um, whether you see your current scenario as positive or negative, it is happening for a reason. So, for instance, if uh, you're thinking of, you know, somebody that you're with who um, you're wondering if you'll uh, get back together. You know, there's a reason that you're not together right now. You're learning about something. Um, oh, thank you. Glad you like the cards. Uh, you know, you're learning about something, you're, you're getting to know uh, something that is going to help you in the long run. So if it's meant to be, whatever is going on is taking it closer to where it should be. And if it's not meant to be, it's, you know, helping you to kind of um, reassess and walk on to a new situation. So I, I hope that that helps a little bit. Um, I love this, the heart of the matter. Get down to the heart of the matter. Know what's really going on. It's the same thing I was talking about. Just ask, ask, what do you want? Who do you, you know, what do you really uh, want in this situation? Um, Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, so nice to have you. Uh, just take a little moment to think. 
as a question or a person situation Oh, we got this. Love who you are. That was the one from underneath for you, Roberta. So, love who you are. And it was talking about you being like this most awesome, wonderful person ever. And, you know, this is another cliche that's harder to learn than it is to know about. But, um, so... You know, you have to love yourself because before you can love someone else. You know, love who you are. But it, uh, this friend of mine was telling me that what she did is every time she saw her reflection. So like right now I'm seeing my reflection in the camera. But you know, every time you see your reflection, you say, hey gorgeous, hey beautiful. And at first it's really hard to do. But every time you walk by a mirror, a reflection of some kind, you go, Hey, gorgeous. Hey, good looking. What you doing? You know, and she said she got, so she actually got to the point where she would correct people if they'd say things that weren't quite where she was the most wonderful thing in the world. So it really helped her develop um, that uh, self-love. And the other thing I think that we uh, face, especially as women, is, um, judging ourselves compared to other people and uh, it's so nice um it, we we always just love feeling uh feeling beautiful you know uh but each of us are beautiful um in our own way no matter what you know so even if sometimes i can't get my two eyebrows on exactly the same I don't actually have them I have to paint them on but you know things like that you can look down on yourself or you can say you know what I'm really beautiful the way I am and it's I remember when I was younger I would just look at all these other girls and go man I wish I was as voluptuous as that and now I probably think I wish I was a little less voluptuous so I mean you know so love who you are I love that card that's what we're working on. So is there, um, let me see here. I thought somebody said hi to, uh, was it Mary? Oh, and Karen. I can't forget you. You're my MVP. My partner in crime. Okay. All right, Karen. And if there's anybody that I haven't mentioned, you go ahead and um, say hi, and I'll get a card for you. And then um, let me get it. Let's just pull something, Karen. Let's. Uh, concentrate let's think if you have a question a person you know it could be a child a mother a father you know anyone in your life that you'd like some um, help with that relationship I know that children can sometimes be one of the hardest things like for me right now <laughs> right now I think uh yeah, children is really hard. And uh and then when I start thinking thoughts I'm like, you know what? I think that my thoughts about my kids are um Oh cool, awesome, Vanessa. That's great to hear. Um when, when I, if I start to think negative thoughts, then I know that my depression is coming on. Because there's no way that otherwise I'm going to think anything but positive thoughts about my children. Okay. Do something for someone. Okay, so Karen. Do something for someone. I think you do stuff all the time, don't you? Uh, give your attention to another. Ooh. 
maybe there's somebody that needs more attention. So there's someone who's getting a lot, and they should get a little less. And this other person should get a little more. I think that's what the card's saying. It's a 41. Let's take a look. This is, when you do something kind for someone, you create an opportunity for your relationship to be re-energized. So like, if you're you're thinking about your son it's like if there's something that you could do for him that he wouldn't expect that he especially likes you know like a favorite music or a favorite game you know whatever he really really loves and for him to not be expecting it and to try to do that for him like something that wouldn't be for you something that he really likes okay um how can you be considerate towards someone today? Insignificant things can have a big impact. Imagine how amazing your life will be when you are consistently doing kind and loving things for others. Do something for someone. So in this, um, there's a, a rabbit and a deer and a child it's beautiful oh i highly recommend these this deck is really awesome okay let's see here so um what i would like to do is uh do a uh general reading well for everyone watching for the energies for the new moon uh, with the uh, tarot deck. So um, this particular new moon, this one lady was talking about how right now Mercury is in Scorpio, which is opposite, I guess, of Libra, where the new moon is. And so it makes it just a lot more challenging when they're teed across so anyway, I'm gonna share the video because it's it's very interesting information, but I'm I'm still learning about. Um... Oh hi Shay, good to see you. Oh, sorry. All right, I'll get you a card. Yeah, let me do that first because I like to do things in order. Okay, you're sending your intention. So, yeah, so, anyway, there's some kind of big things, especially for people who are Scorpio. So, if you're a Scorpio or have a lot of Scorpio in your chart, um, this is going to be a real challenging time. Don't, like, buy a house or anything like that. Somebody, you're going to get bamboozled, she said, by somebody. Somebody's going to try to sell you, you know, the swamp in Arizona or something. Okay, have, okay, uh, Shay, have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. Oh yeah, love is patient, love is kind, love is all the things. Have patience. So there may be a situation that you were thinking about um, that you're really wanting the Knight of Swords right now to rush in and take it. And unfortunately, you're getting the uh, Seven of Pentacles. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. I love the, the girl in the uh, water lily. Water lilies have such a beautiful connotation of, you know, growing, growing up out of the muck and having this beautiful flower. And, um, but then also this card has a whole bunch of um, waterfalls. And it reminds me of where I grew up in Washington State. And it would just... You know, just drive along and there's just waterfall after waterfall everywhere. So, <laughs> you need patience right now. <laughs> so, that's what the card's telling you. So, it's usually what we already know. And of course, I keep, I keep asking f for answers and all I get is, have patience. 
Okay, work on being more patient. If you lack patience with others, remember that they are human and different from you. If your impatience has to do with an outcome, know your prayers are being answered and have a little more patience. All right, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, water lilies are, yeah, one of my favorite. Definitely. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the energies of the new moon and uh, some of the things that we should be um, aware of. Was there anyone else there that I didn't get? Okay. Okay, the uh, Page of Cups. Which which one the uh, the one about the whispers of love is uh, that the one with all those love cards? They're really beautiful. I want to start using that for my uh, relationship readings. I try to do relationship readings once a week, and then uh, the King of Swords. And the uh, hanged man. So, um, yeah, I definitely, uh, I do have, you know, spiritual rebirth tarot, uh, where I'm offering, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, free readings for different zodiac signs. And I try to do a relationship reading once a week. It's not necessarily about a love relationship because, you know, not everyone's in a, uh, committed love relationship, but I will try to. I will try to um, look for, uh, you know, just kind of a, you know, an idea about a relationship that we have. And then um, also, um, I try to do an astrology for Friday. So I'll look at, you know, some different kinds of astrology there. So, okay. Um, let me go through these cards real quick and then I will pull a card for you for the question. Okay, so let's take a look at the energies for the new moon. We have the uh, the Page of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Um, So I think uh, some of us, some of us here, um, might be dealing with uh, some romantic issues that are kind of um, young or immature or kind of on a left field, and uh, we really want some truth and clarity around it. So we're we're sitting here saying, you know, give us, you know. Give us the answer that we're looking for um, in this uh, kind of like, so this, this, you know, kind of young, youthful, romantic. So, you know, like, even if you're with an older person, they're acting kind of immature when it comes to their romanticism. And then, um, you know, what you're really wanting, you know, is a lot more um, truth and honesty and direction with that. And uh, so those two together can kind of make you feel like you're just hanging there kind of like the hangman but this particular hangman card do you see how he's holding on to the bowl and he's not upside down he's actually right side up oh and behind him looks like a structure that looks very much like the uh, four of wands which is that marriage so it's kind of like you're you're really, 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 really holding on to to something really, really hard and not wanting to let it go. It's this beautiful golden bowl. And you're like, no, I don't want to hold it on. That's kind of keeping you uh, stuck in that in that situation. And I think it has something to do with a uh, immature um, love, love situation. Let me pull um, 
a card for each of those cards. So, Page of Cups. For a little more clarification. Um, sun. So there really is a lot of happiness there in that romance, but it's just a little immature. It's like, it, it again, it's the immature child on the horse. You know, the little baby. Just, it just, even that happiness needs more maturity. Okay, King of Swords is the um, Ace of Pentacles. So we may be looking for a truth around a, um, kind of like a new direction or focus. Like, you know, is this relationship going in the right direction? Um, you know, or does it like need to change to a new focus? And then the uh, hangman is the uh, knight of pentacles. So it's, it's just that real slow plodding along. It's happening. It's like that card that said have patience. If you're praying for something, it's happening. But you've got to have a lot more patience to get there. So this new moon is, is kind of slowing things down for us. Is confusing us a little and so we've really got to get out there and communicate more and of course that's extremely hard to do with mercury and retrograde <laughs> especially when it's in Scorpio which means we get all huffy and puffy about everything okay so um, Mary let's pull a uh, card from you from the uh, whispers of love so go ahead and uh, you were asking specific seven, three months from my boyfriend. Yeah. So let's let's see what card comes up uh, with the question that you're asking. So put Reiki energy in the deck uh, to help guide us. Act as if your partner is here. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh if I'm not supposed to. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Interesting. What is this about, I wonder? 17. I mean, the picture, it's like this man and this woman, like, totally just out in the sky, beautifully dancing together. 17, which is the 8, which is about abundance, infinity, um, kind of like just, uh, you know, that, like the, those kind of things. Be your own advocate. Believe in yourself. Love who you are. Okay. No, no I, I'm reading the wrong one. I'm reading an H because I said the word eight. I'm sorry. Okay, 17. Uh, no? Seven? Oh, it's 37. Huh. I can't read anymore without glasses. Well, Actually, I am much better ever since I got my Reiki attunement. My reading is improved. I never used to be able to do this. So, it is actually improving. I asked for my vision to improve every day. Yes, this is for Patty. This is for Patty. Patty, you are the one. I'm sorry. Patty, you are the one that said I've been separated for three months. So, it's for you. Okay, and now we finally got the right card. I'm sorry. Act as if your partner is here. 
Um, okay. If your actions and thoughts take someone else's feelings into account, you will be more aligned with your with a true relationship. If your partner is not with you yet, generate the feeling that you are already sharing your life with your special someone. This will change the way you feel and can alter your attitude and your potential to attract them into your life. So, so Patty, I'm thinking that this card is, is for you saying that wherever you're at, um, do what Abraham Hicks talks about, which is feel the love of a relationship and that helps you to manifest that into your life. You know, those kind of things. And then I want to look at the underneath of the deck. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Let me ask the tarot um, your specific question of if he regrets leaving and I'm not a pendulum person I tried and I get the pendulum tells me exactly what I think <laughs> so I don't do that anymore it's like it's like if I think something that's what it says <laughs> I'm like oh it's my own energy flowing into it it doesn't work very well so I'll ask the tarot deck I miss him. I wonder if he regrets leaving. Four swords. Well, he at least dreams about you. Hey, priestess. Maybe he thought you were too much for him somehow. Lovers. There's still something there. Underneath, a lot of burdens came about. For him, maybe? He just got too many burdens, or I don't know. But yeah, I think um, with High Priestess and Lovers, let me uh, clarify those a little more for you too. So definitely Four Swords to me, this particular one, really, I mean, she's dreaming and she's kind of being protected in her dreams. And um, so I see that that particular one is, you know, he's probably thinking about you or, you know, still coming up a little in the dreams. And then... Um, the first thing I thought I thought of with the High Priestess is that maybe he saw you that way and he just kind of saw you as this big entity that he wasn't able to approach in the way that he wanted to. And then with the lovers coming up, I mean, there's definitely a connection there still. So... Yeah. Yeah, the high priestess. Um, e okay, so either he thought you weren't enough or he thought he wasn't enough. So it has something to do with one being bigger than the other. And then the, the love relationship, he's kind of blind to that, to that uh, situation. That there's still a a cord of connection. So, somebody was talking about the lovers also has to do with the choice. You know, so, in your, I mean, I think what your card was telling you is make the choice to live your life. Yes, you will miss him, but don't allow it to damage your life, you know, and to keep going. So, okay, um, well, I am, I, I am getting super cold, <laughs> um, outside all of a sudden has changed, I will have to start wearing a coat, um, 
Let's see. Any other uh, specific uh, questions or things or we'll... Um... Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting about the pendulum. Yeah, <laughs> It was like, it would always give me the answer I wanted to hear. I was like, maybe it was because I was using a stone and the stone uh, was like connected to me energetically somehow differently than some other it may be the item somebody told me that they use a a like a piece of floss with a paper clip for their pendulum and that works pretty well so i don't know so is there anyone else here uh that that hasn't had a card yet that would like to have one or anything else Otherwise, I'm going to go and uh, get myself warmed up. It's so crazy to have no moon. New moon. Okay. All right, so let me pull a card for April, and then uh, Shay, I'll look at your question. Okay, um, April. Ooh, it's the have faith one again. Trust your faith in this situation. So I'm going to say two things. One thing is, you know, it's the message you need. The other is, it's probably the message that all of us need in this uh, new moon. You know, have faith, trust in your situation. And she's that girl just flying through the air with her uh, beautiful butterflies. It reminds me, it really, really reminds me of the Three of Wands, where they're always looking out over the water. Okay, so let me look at a little bit more of what's said there. 12. It can be challenging to move forward when you aren't sure what the outcome will be. Stay present with whatever is in front of you right now. Your competence and ability may prove the calm and confidence you need to keep going. So your competence and ability. So focus on the things that you can list as your competence and your ability. You have doubts or fears when you take a step forward or make a decision, but faith gives you the courage to continue. Even setbacks can impact, have, you know, invaluable knowledge, experience, and positives. So, um, and this is, I know, is so true that you can have some really big setbacks in life. Um, really big setbacks in life. Uh, but um, they can be something that will help you develop into something else. Okay, so she uh, is going to last. Um, let me uh, pull a couple tarot cards. King of Pentacles? Uh, yes. Underneath, Knight of Pentacles. It'll be very slow and methodical. Oh, the next card. Two of Cups. I love this one. It's kind of like the lover's card in the Minor Arcana. So there's a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of abundance. 
in the relationship, had a lot of stability, and it will move slower than you want it to. So remember that I have patience. <laughs> and uh, also, um, my guess is that there's more there than meets the eye, that other card. And that it will, uh, you know, take time to develop into what you want. But be sure and use your words and uh, bring those to the, you know, say the things you need to say. So, cool. So those were, yeah, those were good cards for, for relationship lasting. So, well, thank you guys so much for coming to the live. Um, I love having in the uh, new moon uh, feel. And uh, we'll hopefully do this again soon. So, thank you guys so much for coming. And I will uh, talk to you later.